Okay, this is crazy. This guy created a virtual human with his team and they gave it a disease. Hi, my name is Jack and it's finally possible to create virtual humans to treat diseases. This will blow your mind. If we want to make a treatment for a disease like Parkinson's, you know how long it takes? 13 years! And you know how many dollars it costs? Two billion dollars. And you know how many new drugs fail? 66% fail. It's f***ing hard to find treatments that work. Till today, right now, millions of people are suffering from many of these diseases without good drugs. We have to do this faster. We also have to bring down the cost. Many of these drugs cost too much money. So what if we can develop and test drugs on virtual humans first? What if we can build a virtual human inside a very strong computer and test drugs on them? Turns out, it is now possible to do that. They took a very strong computer. It's as strong as 20,000 laptops and created a virtual human inside of it. How? Every molecule in your body can be represented with numbers. And we can represent a virtual human body with billions and billions of numbers in a computer. And this is where it gets crazy. They can give a virtual human a disease like cancer, Alzheimer's, or Parkinson's simply by changing some of these numbers. And by doing so, we can then model what it would look like to give this virtual drug, this drug, into that virtual human. We could do that billions and billions of times. And then they give virtual humans treatments to see if they work simply by doing math. And by doing that billions of times, we can change it slightly. Every single time we can change that drug, we can find the right optimal solution for that particular disease. And after we're done with all those billions and billions of times we ran that in the big computer, then we can start doing it in real humans. If the drugs work virtually on their computer model, biopharma companies test them on real humans. And that is how you can make new drugs faster, cheaper, and safer. We brought down the risk, we brought up the probability that we're gonna be successful in those clinical trials. It's what Jack and his team are doing today here in Palo Alto, California. In the future, I will not be surprised if they can find novel treatments for Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and cancer. The industry has been working on many of these diseases for decades, for 30, 40 years. We have to do better, and now finally we can do better. Indeed, your life may be saved by the science on this whiteboard.